Okay guys, this is a second alarm fire here in the Bronx. I don't have all the particulars right this moment, but fire in the basement with extension to one of the upper floors. Let me just get over there. <coughs> uh, looks like three-story building. I can't really tell at this moment. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's on this building here or behind. They have fire in the basement and they're um a two-line stretch it looks like two lines in operation. <coughs> I'm gonna poke around. a lot of members going in there. They got two lines stretched, two Let's lines of operation. Come in. Yeah, Steve, we still have heavy fire in that first floor. All right. He has heavy fire in the basement. Just take the 5-0. Are you still making your way to the second floor? Second floor. Back down on the first. Yeah, the same, the same two six to all units. We're gonna back, we're gonna back out of this building. All units, go to an exterior attack. Members on the upper floors, come on down, 50 years to keep that line operating until we come out of there. They're going to remove I all the people in the building. They have heavy fire in there in the back of the basement. Two things to rescue three. Rescue, we're moving outside, we're taking everybody out of this building. I get ready to back it out. Yeah, they have heavy fire in there. They want everybody out. Everybody out. Everybody out. First floor. The rear is going strong. Everybody out of the top floor. Let's go. The first floor is going. Because the rear is going strong. I'm going to go poke around. Nothing visible back here. Can't do any members that were on the roof. We 
Yeah, everybody off the roof. Working on it now, Steve. Nothing visible from the back. A lot of smoke, but they said, they said that they had heavy fire in there, so we're gonna go back here. Fire second command. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got everybody going to the top floor. We have one line on the first floor. You want to call a long call and make sure, but it looks like we're good. But like I said, we're gonna keep one line on the first floor right now just to make sure. Yeah, but command to rescue. Got all your members? Yeah, we're on our way out. Yeah, but command is squad, got everybody. Squad four, one, ten, four. Uh, he removed everybody out of the building. I didn't see any flames in the back, so it might be in the walls. They're removing all the members from the roof now. All right, all right, let's go, bring it out. I still believe they have one of the lines they're operating in the first floor. I didn't hear the comms, but we'll see. Intensity is getting darker and grayer. They're continuing to remove the members from the roof. They're coming down on the uh, stick over here and in the bucket. If they continue without any water, it's going to pop out somewhere. I believe they removed everybody out altogether, even the one line they had. Came in as a basement in the fire and quickly escalated to a second alarm. There's that chunky smoke coming out of the windows now. They're not saying much. Hey Brian, it looks like there's a hydrant in front of 73 inch down on 165 of Prospect. You have to find one over there yet. I got to go behind the cover, 
there, but... It looks like they have some glow somewhere up there. I can't really tell. It might pop out. I don't know. They're repositioning the tower ladder. I think they're gonna move it and move some of the apparatus. Um, they're probably gonna have to bring in another tower ladder. Four two to four two three. Four two. Louis, what's your location? I'm in thirty one parking on my way down. All right, that's good. See how they're gonna handle this. I didn't see anything back there. They might be operating a line in the back, I'm not sure. Yeah, the smoke is picking up big time now. Okay, you can get a towel ladder in a uh, parking lot on exposure three. All right, ten four. Thank you for the new uh, truck safe supply line over there. If you come up Union Avenue to the parking lot, the rear of the building, that's what I'm going I might go back there again. He says he's got a tower ladder positioned back there in that parking lot. And they said that they had heavy fire in the back, but I couldn't see much. popping out in the back now. Heavy fires coming out through the back. Uh, I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go here for a minute and then I'm gonna go in the back. I'm trying to put water on it, but it's popping out of that window really bad. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> 
back up. All right, they're gonna back the tower ladder up, and uh, yeah, Set up the tower ladder so we're gonna put it in operation. I'm gonna go take a peek in the back just in case. Alright guys, I came back here to the back of the building. Yeah, walk up union guys. We're gonna set the supply line to the rear parking lot. You can see some fire, uh, not as much. Command the battalion. One eight. How's the rear look? Is there any uh, exposure problem? Exposure four, maybe a problem. I'm just going around to check that uh, building have right there. The most is blowing right on exposure four. Yeah, you can't see nothing back here. You're gonna have to go back in the front. All right, step one. <clears throat> it's licking out the windows, but. gonna go back and get front. out of that smoke it's heavy fire pushing through the top floor up there I'm gonna go back in the front there it is guys heavy fire now I want to in command Man. Okay, that's good. Is that going to be a problem for uh, the power line streets? Yeah. Oh, 44 can still get access to it. Wind-driven. There's a lot of wind going on. Uh, cold here. Yeah. All right, that's my phone it's roaring now guys I'm gonna go in the front just to check and they have heavy fire in the back here Sign let me just take a peek in the front right on the corner point zero zero six union where the rack at there the rack at the rack just got here all right it's not showing in the front yet, but it's traveling. I'm gonna go back to the back area. Really, really, really bad situation right now because it's all the way in the back. They have no real access from this lot. They're gonna try, but it's really pushing right now. Chief made a good call to get everybody out of that building so fast. Alright, 
Look at it. Rolling. They're going to put the one tower out in the front in operation. They didn't pop out in the front yet. They're hitting it in the back with the tower ladder now. Hey, buddy, how are you? They're going to hit it for the tower ladder. It's going to be, uh, they shoot it from far away. So they're going to start knocking it soon. It's on the second floor now, though. Back to the uh, front area here. Smoke is lightening up. They got water on it with the tower ladder, and they're setting up 44 in the back. So I don't know if it's gonna pop out out here, but it's in the second floor in the back, but not in the front. None of it is in the front. 
Take a peek back here again. They're bringing a lot more members back here, concentrating on the back. Nine four to five zero chauffeur. Very little, Alpha. very little flames left. Five zero chauffeur to nine four. We're going to be stretching this line to a one-story setback. I'm going to be calling for water momentarily. Hold on for a minute. Nine four, let me know nine four. They're bringing a line. Uh, they're gonna put members up there on the setback, and they're gonna have them operate a line up there. Still have some heavy fire in the uh, roof area up there. Okay, I came back here to this parking lot again. They have a 44 truck. Uh, 94 is going to supply the water. Come over to the corner. Uh, there's still heavy fire in the building through the roof. But they're hitting it from the other side with the other tower ladder. Uh, once they get this one up, I think they'll be... Uh, they'll have a bit of angle to help knock it out fires through the roof very hard to see from here but it's still licking out the windows too the other tower ladder is shooting water over over the building onto this side but they're putting the tower ladder up at an angle where they can both operate together but not hit each other. Getting it good with the other tower ladder. All right, he's gonna. Four, 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 four
he's gonna give them water any second now back there and just ask them they're gonna let them know Stop. He's gonna let them know when they need the water. All right, being that there's not a, a lot of visibility back here with all the smoke. Mike, where are you? I'm gonna go to the front again. This is where the water's coming from. For the tower ladder. 44 went up really high, so they're gonna hit it good up there. Thanks, Ace. 4-4 buckets to 4-4, water. Oh, sorry, here comes your water. Alright. Here comes the water. giving them pressure they'll tell him how much pressure they want and so forth and so on so there you saw that going on I'm gonna go check it out in the front and warm up for a little bit I think that the all visible fire to the extent of seeing it in the exterior position is gonna be out they're gonna do uh, tower ladder operations and drown it out all right, they have small pockets of fire back here. Once they get to 44, really pushing water in there, they're gonna drown it out. It's a uh, wind-driven fire. It's very windy. You can't really see it. Trust me. And uh, temperatures are bitter bitter cold but they're getting in now they're probably going to be able to bring members inside soon depending on the stability of it Still at a second alarm. Once again, good call by the chief to remove everybody out of there because once it got going, it was going as you saw. Hitting it with both towers now. The main breeze has it picked up. Yeah, have your members use this point that's uh, sitting out here. They don't need to stretch another line. Good water. Yeah, 
<laughs> He's asking the engine for more pressure of the uh, 44 bucket. Yeah, the engine floor is working on it. They're working on it. Maybe get uh, two water to fill it. It might drop and pop out. I don't know. We'll see. Where you at? Front of building eight feet on the two side of the fire. Why do you think? Is that line for you? There's 44 buckets. Not for a bucket. I would go back there again, but it's all smoke, so you won't be able to see much. Thank you. Okay, we came to 92 engine. They want a little bit more pressure for... Uh, Towel out of 31. Right, they moved the command post further back. Now let me do the a quickie again. A better where the rack at. The other rack at. Rack three. All set up, ready to go. So this is what it looks like in the front. Smoke conditions have improved tremendously. As you can see, you got your EMS over here. What was your last message? Good, All right, I'm going to monitor it for a little bit longer and then uh, I'm going to get out of the cold for a little while. There's a fast truck. Come in, go ahead, <laughs> We're gonna need another engine back down, Junior. Uh, gonna... A lot of uh three one buck, three one. Good white smoke coming out now. They got one forty four white stone yeah. eagles here and, uh, setting up. I don't know if they're going to put them into um, operation. They might. Looks like an old building, a lot of wood in there. A 
But like I said before, they got a lot of water going in there. They're going to put some more uh, with the uh, power ladder 144. Step one, step one, go. Bringing a line to the exposure here. the water for 144 bucket smoke's pushing this way now you want bucket three one it's no small pocket of fire on the three side from front to rear that four the man to 144 bucket Sorry about the water in the lens. Yeah, that area we're hitting there, you can stay on that. Three, four pointer. That's one. So we got three tower ladders in operation. And maybe a couple of hand lines. Yeah, that's one. 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 Yeah, let us be one of the man, we couldn't take out our guys. Assistant Chief Sheriff reports, three towel ladders in operation, one hand line in operation. Primary searches and exposures two, three, and four are negative. The fire remains doubtful, okay? 
10 4 field com. That report at 0355. The duration, one hour and one four minutes, okay? Come for it. All right, guys, I went to the car to warm up. I'm all the way down here in the corner. And uh, you can see what's going on over there. There's still putting a lot, of, a lot of water on it. Three tower ladders in operation, one hand in operation. Uh, second hand line stretched but dry. Uh, I'm going to go take a little peek for you guys. Just had a warm up, man. Big time. you these selfish drivers blocking hydrants uh, the engine gave it a little nudge there but there you have it blocked hydrant fire breaks out putting people's lives in danger because they don't care about nobody with themselves in a parking spot guys as you can see most of the smoke is gone it's still spraying it's four something in the morning I'm gonna get out of here uh, for now it's gonna be prolonged operations until they get all the small pockets of fire out of there Okay guys, two and two, we're going to see you on the other side, too cold. Thank you. 